Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've been vlogging, so I might be kind of rusty. And I just this this video is just about what's happening, why I haven't been vlogging, where it was the M3. So long story short, I messed up big time. So my negative terminal was kind of loose and it was kind of corroded and I was kind of being lazy on ordering a new one. So hear me out. I was on the highway doing some pulls and having fun with some of my friends. And all of a sudden I see like my car turns off. I hit the clutch, turn it back on and then all my dash lights are there. And then I drive back home. I see the dash lights are there. I turn it off, take the negative terminal off, wipe it off, put it back on tight turned back on the dash lights are still on there but what was concerning was the battery light was on and then I, I've, I tried to test it out tried to do uh, try to fix the wires but the battery light was still on so I figured let me get an alternator so I got a Bosch alternator from FCP Euro it was manufactured and I got like twice and guess what the battery light never went off and then later I took it to a shop because I was sick and tired of not driving the car and then they charged me 200 for like diagnostic and they were like oh we gotta do this and that blah 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 and then they were like oh your DSC modules fried fix that whatever and then, and then I got info I checked yeah DSC was throwing some code so I got a new D I got a DSC from someone uh, off of Facebook marketplace brought the DSC swapped it out by myself and then I, I was about to put the lines back on but I hurt my hand in, in the gym, so I, I didn't want to be patient and not wanting to put it back on. So I got a mo mobile mechanic, and I asked him to just put the lines on and help me breathe the lines. And then he did put the lines back on with the wrench, but then I went to go get snacks, and I come back and I see this dude tightening up my lines with a vice grip. And I was like, yo, what are you doing? And he stripped some of my lines and he was like I was gonna I'll fix it and everything and he's like it's done I pumped the brake brake fluids are leaking and then I just asked him to go home I had an electrical issue and now I have a DSC lines that are stripped and my car has no brakes so I told my car to Daniel people he, he, he's a good guy he knows what he's doing I I told my car to Daniel Molina and he solved out my electrical issue he was like dude let's try with a new alternator so we went back to FCP, bought a brand new Valeo alternator, electrical issue was fine. And then I brought the car back home, took it to one shop, and they wanted to charge me $6,000 for the lines, and they were like, we also have to do the DSC module. And I was like, dude, that's like four bolts, and it's right up there. They're like, still, DSC was two grand from the dealership, and they wanted to charge me $1,000 to take off five bolts. I'm not going to name any names, but I'm never going back to that shop. So I got another DSC module, I replaced that one, got some brake lines from ECS for like 180, the hard lines, the actual hard lines that go from the DSC and ABS modules all the way to all four wheels. And then I took it to a shop nearby, they fixed it, car's running right now. Alright, so if you're still watching right now, a fat shout out to you, thank you for sticking to the end. The reason I made this video is like, so you can learn from my mistake, don't be cheap, don't be like me. I mean, I'm not saying being cheap is bad, but don't go to a mobile mechanic to do to work on your nice car. I mean, if you have a Corolla, you want to do brake pads, oil change, go ahead and do it. But at the same time, not expensive means better or good. Know your people. I'll, I like to work with good people who know their shit, and I'm, I'm okay to pay them what they deserve. But anyways, I hope this can help some of you. You guys can learn from my mistake and keep driving and stay warm. It's freezing over here in Texas right now. We had a snow, but anyways, thank you for watching. Peace.